Well, you can see we've had a bit of snow. And there's our driveway. And I need to get this snow blower fixed. It's a Craftsman 24 inch snow thrower. Um, I got it at <clears throat> Habitat for Humanity for 75 bucks. The fellow there told me, Lloyd, he said it probably needs a new carburetor. So, there it is. eBay, $16 delivered. Looks like it is a. Yeah, here's the model number for you guys. At home, you can get the manual online, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, great. It's pretty fuzzy. Anyway, let's try that again. Is it going to do it? No. Anyway. Let's see if we can't get the carburetor out. The people who design these things don't ever have to fix them because they put some of these bolts in an area that makes it very difficult to get them off or back on for that matter. Okay, so there's a couple of 3 8 bolts on this. Just take those things off and you can lift this damn thing out of the way. Okay, we'll load a little more wood in the pot belly. Keep this place warm. Okay, turned out there were six bolts that needed the 10 millimeter wrench to get off the shrouding. See the shrouding here, gone. And then there were two uh, 3 8 bolts over here to get this little piece of plastic crap out of the way. One of the, uh, one of the shrouding bolts is down in there somewhere. I may find it later. Okay, to take the shrouding off, looks like I'll have to come over here and take this uh, plug-in for the electric start off so I can pull the shrouding off the uh, other side. Yeah, there are a couple of Phillips head screws here and you can see the lower one actually holds this bit of shrouding. Loosen it and pull it off on the other side. Okay, so we removed the shrouding bolts. I also took off the air intake. I don't think these things actually have a filter because it's a clean environment, but anyway I took those uh, 10 millimeter bolts off just to get out of the way. Pop this on the other side of the uh, pull start and then kind of pulled it off of a couple of uh, 10 millimeter bolts there. There were a couple of uh, handsome acorn nuts. Um, so now we can tuck into the uh, carburetor. Okay, well the carburetor here is loose. My Replacement carburetor from eBay. Looks like it's uh, going to fit. Uh, so I just got to remove some of these uh, springs here. You can see that I actually unhooked this from the uh, shrouding and the throttle over there. So uh, just remember how that goes. It looks like it only goes one way, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I did have to pull this little plast uh, red plastic thing off. The other one stayed on the uh, shrouding down there. Okay, it's off. And the new one's going to fit. And, oh, they also sent me a new primer, which I needed because the old one shot. Oh, good, and a fuel filter. I needed that fuel filter. They didn't have one on right now, and so it'd be good to put one on. And also a couple of gaskets. Okay, you can see that it is just, well, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, it's kind of a mess in there. Um, so I am going to uh, go find that uh, gallon of purple power I picked up and uh, see if I can't clean that out a little bit before I uh, put this back together. Yeah, looks like the uh, oil dipstick was in bad shape, but I drilled a new hole, so we'll get that fixed too. Okay, and we're back. <clears throat> we have cleaned out the gas tank with some purple power. And we're going to be ready now to install. On went the gas tank and the carburetor and also the gaskets. Now I'll start putting it together and see if she'll start up. I expect I may regret not having gotten a new spark plug when there wasn't half a foot of snow on the road. But oh well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so everything is snapping back together. I've got the new primer. 
pup on there, carburetor, and now ready to put on the shrouding. More or less assembled now. Just got to put on the shrouding and a little gas. I'm drying out the spark plug on the uh, stove, so we'll see how it goes. There we go! Well, looks like we've got about five inches of snow out here. But as you can see, that snow blower did a hell of a job. Now I'm going to get ready to take it over to my sisters and stepdaughter. But you can see we cleaned out the whole the whole yard here, so I'm very pleased. I think it was $100, including the gas. All right. Next time.